Today on Rappler. Negros Oriental residents call for justice as they pay last respects to slain Governor Roel de Gamo. Negros Oriental Representative Arnie Teves requests a leave of absence from the chamber due to safety risks. Telco giant PLDT is acquiring Sky Cable's broadband business. Brazilian researchers discover plastic rocks on an important turtle conservation spot. Celebrity stylist La Roche is retiring but says he and Zendaya are forever. Pop superstar Sara Geronimo will celebrate the 20th anniversary of her showbiz debut with a concert. And South Korean girl group Itzy is coming back to Manila. Thousands gather in the town of Chaton, Negros Oriental, to pay their last respects to slain Governor Roel de Gamo. Pamplona Vice Mayor Joel Remolano says, following de Gamo's killing, the people of his town have, quote, run out of fear. One supporter says they are learning to be more courageous in calling for justice. The procession of de Gamo's body began from his house in Barangay Bonawon, about two kilometers from the Bonawon Catholic Church where his funeral services were held. People in the crowd wear Justice for Roel de Gamo shirts and wail as de Gamo's body is loaded into the hearse. Remolano also calls on the other suspects and masterminds who remain at large to surrender. Authorities have yet to name possible masterminds behind the killing. De Gamo, Negros Oriental's governor since 2011, was gunned down in Pamplona town on March 4 while attending an aid distribution event. Negros Oriental 3rd District Representative Arnolfo Arniteves Jr. requests a two-month leave of absence from the chamber. House Speaker Martin Rombaldez's office confirms it received a letter from Teves's camp on Wednesday, March 15. In the letter, Teves's camp says the request is, quote, due to the very grave security threat to his life and his family. Teves has yet to return to the country after traveling to the United States for medical treatment. His travel clearance from the House was only valid from February 28 to March 9. Since then, Romualdez has publicly appealed to Teves to come home and face the allegations against him in connection with the killing of Negros Oriental Governor Roel de Gamo. Suspects in de Gamo's killing claim a certain congressman Teves was the brains behind the assassination where eight others were also gunned down. Telco giant PLDT is set to acquire Sky Cable Corporation's broadband business for 6.75 billion pesos, further expanding PLDT's hold into the broadband space. The transaction involves the acquisition by PLDT of 100% of Sky Cable's total issued and outstanding capital stock, consisting of 1.3 billion common shares for 4.90 pesos apiece. According to stock exchange filings, the deal also entails that Sky Cable's paid TV and cable businesses will be terminated by PLDT and Sky Cable's majority shareholder, ABS-CBN. ABS-CBN says Sky Cable's broadband and cable TV services will continue while awaiting regulatory approvals. Once the deal pushes through, Sky Cable says it is, quote, committed to working with all its cable TV subscribers to ensure a transition to their preferred service. ABS-CBN did not disclose what it would do to its cable channels, including flagship news channel ANC, after the deal. Brazilian researchers discover rocks made from plastic debris in Brazil's volcanic Trindade Island, sparking alarm. Melted plastic intertwines with rocks on the island, located 1,140 kilometers from the southeastern state of Espírito Santo. Researchers say it is evidence of humans' growing influence over the Earth's geological cycles. Geologist Fernanda Avelar Santos and her team say the pollution, quote, mainly comes from fishing nets, which is common debris on Trindade Island's beaches. Trindade Island is one of the world's most important conservation spots for green turtles, with thousands arriving each year to lay their eggs. The only human inhabitants on Trindade are members of the Brazilian Navy, which maintains a base on the island and protects the nesting turtles. Santos says the discovery is, quote, new and terrifying at the same time because it shows pollution has reached geology. Renowned celebrity stylist La Roach, whose clientele includes Zendaya, Megan Thee Stallion, Hunter Schaefer, and more, announces his retirement. In an Instagram post, Roach says, If this business was just about the clothes, I would do it for the rest of my life, but unfortunately, it's not. The politics, the lies, and false narratives finally got me. You win. I'm out. Roach is the stylist who has been working with Zendaya since her days as a Disney star. A day after announcing his retirement, Roach clarifies he'll continue working with Zendaya, saying we are forever, and their relationship is, quote, 
real love, not fake industry love. Aside from Zendaya, Roach also dressed some of Hollywood's biggest stars, including Anya Taylor-Joy, Ariana Grande, Bella Hadid, and Celine Dion. Filipino pop superstar Sara Geronimo is celebrating the 20th anniversary of her showbiz debut with a concert on Friday, May 12 at the Araneta Coliseum. Veteran concert director Paolo Valenciano and Sara herself will direct the show. Tickets go on sale on March 18 with prices ranging from 600 pesos for general admission to 15,000 pesos for SVIP with meet and greet. Sara has been keeping a low profile since she married Matteo Gudicelli in 2020, though she performed in a series of virtual concerts in 2021. She also released her comeback single, Dati Dati, in October 2022 and returned to the stage of variety show ASAP in December 2022. She released her single, Habang Buhay, on March 1 to mark her 20th year milestone. Sarah is known for iconic pop tracks such as Tala, Ikot Ikot, and Duyan. Filipino Mitzis, ready to see Itzy up close again? Clothing brand Bench announces the ticket prices and seat plan for Itzy's fan meeting in Manila on April 16. Tickets range from 1,000 pesos for the general admission section to 8,500 pesos for the VIP section. Shopping period for VIP, patron, and lower box B sections will run from March 15 and 16 only, while the shopping period for lower box A and upper box tiers will be from March 17 to 31. The shopping period for general admission tickets will be from March 17 and 18 only. The full guidelines of participating branches, online purchasing, and how to claim physical tickets are on the Bench website. The fan meeting is set just three months after ITZY did a two-night concert in Manila as part of its Checkmate World Tour. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you.